Today we're going to be talking about the NECA, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Standard Mothra, and Poster Color Version Mothra. Like with KOTM Godzilla, KOTM Mothra is going to have the same steel, silver, with blue lettering. Oh man, this got tiring to see, but at least the images on the front and back of the boxes are cool. The inside of the boxes features some lovely pictures of Mothra and some lovely backgrounds for the figures themselves, and uh, the the rest of the boxes are going to be exactly the same. The sides, tops, and bottoms and everything, just everything we've seen prior, so there's really not too much to talk about there. Thankfully, I don't need to say that about the figures because the figures look great, so let's start with standard Mothra. Yeah, NECA kind of cooked with their Mothra offerings. Up first, I just want to take a look at standard Mothra's base, and we've got this very basic gunmetal gray for this, but then we have the cocoon over here, which has mixtures of like this metallic brownish gold. We've got the blues down here, and then we've got bioluminescent streaks on the inside and edges of the cocoon over here. NECA did a great Great job. They really, really friggin' did. I don't know, to finally have a stand for a figure like Mothra that actually has personality beyond being a bland piece of translucent plastic really was just a breath of fresh air for this release. It's just a shame that the Mothra larva that they originally showed off with this figure that was supposed to come with it wasn't apparently approved by Toho. That would have made this release even better, honestly. Now we have that aforementioned bland piece of translucent plastic, and now we can talk about Mothra and ooh. <laughs> Again, NECA positively cooked. It was a breath of fresh air to see an articulated Mothra 2019 figure not look like a melted candy bar or just be stark brown with blue eyes and a tan face. Here, NECA brought a nice flash flood of color for Mothra. Fantastic album, by the way, if anybody needed music recommendations. Accompanied with that metallic blue for the eyes? Oh yeah, NECA had my money instantaneously. And for once we got a 2019 Mothra figure that was indeed small, but it didn't feel like a total cop-out. Yeah, Mothra kind of looks like a speck of dust on the camera, but the closer that you bring her in, that's where the true majesty lies. Of course, we'll get some fantastic paint and detail on the upper portions of Mothra's body over here. I still really do like this paint application for Mothra's body, and I like just how two-toned it is. We've got a darker shade on the bottom side of her body with a lighter shade on the upper side of her body, and then her legs just kind of mirror both at the exact same time. Plus, look at that tiny little adorable face. Look at how small it is. I mean, compared to my fingertip from all the way over here. That is just extra strange strength, beauty, and the wings are no different. Love how they painted these wings. Very, very nice. Love the detailing on these wings as well. And that goes for both sets of wings. The bottom set and the bigger set. Got furry little details on the ends of the wings over here leading into the joint and then just leading into the wings overall. Love the shape. Love how they're a little torn up at the edges over here. Love how the paint kind of just dictates the entirety of the shape and everything in between. And I extra love that the wings are nice and translucent. So if you've got quite the lighting set up for your figure reviewing station or figure picture taking of her station, you're going to go nuts for these. And yes, both pairs of wings are translucent. How could this possibly get better other than the fact that it comes with a stand? Mothra's actually articulated, which really wasn't all that surprising back when this first came out because that's what NECA did, articulated figure. Duh. So as far as the wings go, they can go this far up like so if they don't droop. Same for the bottom pair of wings. They can go up somewhat decently. They can also be brought right down. They will somewhat rest on Mothra's shoulders over here. Same for the bigger pair of wings, and that's just fine. I know the SH Monster Arts version was all ball joints and everything, and I imagine that thing had a little bit of the same issues that the NECA Mothra does, but NECA Mothra doesn't look like a melted candy bar, and it wasn't charged $100 for a shitty looking Mothra, and to be completely honest, a bland looking Rodan too. Now, clearly we're not going to get anything at the head, because the body and the head are all one solid piece, but we will get movement at Mothra's very spindly looking limbs over here. We'll also get that in the legs over here as well. They can kick uh, that far up and then that far back for a good, I don't know, gliding pose and everything. And you know, it just works. It's just sometimes, yeah, the arms pop off, at least on this copy for me. Eh. 
Easy fix. I can't remember. Were these arti- No, I'm thinking of the Haya Mothra. It's very easy to get those two mixed up. So as far as standard Mothra goes, paint and detail, two solid stars, and articulation, two solid stars, and NECA did it again, just with different paint. Let's take a look. Starting as we did last time, let's take a look at the base. And to my surprise, the bases are actually quite different beyond the, you know, the cocoons and everything. This little structure over here that's holding the cocoon is actually much shinier, has a bit of a glittery disposition to it, and its actual base doesn't match the rest of it. Here's me showing and expositing my work. See, this one, it's still shiny and nice looking, but it doesn't have that glittery effect that the poster color version does, and its base actually matches, whereas this one does. Although that might have been an intentional choice as the jet black base kind of just fits with well, everything else that this uh, cocoon is doing. We've got more gloss on the inside, really popping those details. We've got a more metallic blue and turquoise color scheme going on here, which definitely fits with the vibe of poster color Mothra. And hey, I never noticed that. I did not notice that until now. So hey, NECA, good stuff. I miss you. And once again, here's the bland piece of translucent plastic. And now we can talk about poster color version Mothra. I see you there, Haya. I know what you're doing. Emerald Titan version. All right. Okay. All things considered though, it does look similar to this, but it does look rather different too. But, you know, similarities. I bet Haya stole it from NECA, just like Playmates did with NECA Shin Godzilla. <laughs> as far as NECA Mothras go, I think the poster color version is my preferred of the two. As I've stated in this series multitudes of times, the wackier color jobs that NECA has come up with and just far exceeds the original in some places, this one is no different. I mean, just look at those lighter blue highlights on the back of her body. How the hell did they even do that? What kind of machine did they use? And you got the tiny solid blue eyes with the white pupils or gleams, I guess, on them. Yes, on both sides. And NECA did a great job with this Mothra. Oh my god. The different shades of blue are just magnificent, if a bit samey in some areas. Yes, it is my preferred Mothra, but this, in comparison to this... Yeah, I can see why some people weren't exactly frothing at the mouth for poster color version Mothra. But where this figure personally succeeds the original is going to be in the wings because, yeah, these things look amazing. I love it. I love it so very much. The detail game for the wings was kept the same, this time just darker and within the same color wheel. I guess. The fur won't be painted, but we will get this lighter streaking of blue to outline the different portions of the wings. We're going to get that around all of the black line work going on, and it's all going to careen right into the center of Godzilla's eye over here. Is that still a supported theorem? Is that actually like an official thing? Did Mike Doherty say that those were actually Godzilla's eyes or? I mean, I know they're not organic. You know what? Never mind. And before I talk myself into a confusing brain nubbage, let's just keep talking about these wings because they look utterly beautiful. They match with the overall color scheme that this Mothra has. And yes, they will be translucent. And personally, I think this looks a lot better than the standard because it goes from being just a blue to a little bit of blue and green. This is the Baja Blast infused Mothra wing that I have been waiting for my entire life. No, not really, but yeah. And yes, it really is just that simple. Sometimes you just need to make a pair of wings look like one thing and then shine some light behind it and then they look like another and Rob's entirely impressed. Good show, NECA. Good show. I still miss you. Now, when it comes to my copy, I do feel that this version of Mothra was definitely improved upon in the articulation portions just because nothing pops off. I mean, the legs and the arms are still going to be able to move the exact same way they did on the other. It's just a little bit more tightened and refined here. Same thing with the wings, as these wings really don't droop as much as the standard Mothra does, and I think they can actually go down a bit further. Although that might just be uh, my fear of pushing these too far and the wings breaking and trying to find a replacement copy in this day and age is not exactly a cheap endeavor to go through like it was back in the day. Because now, NECA doesn't make these anymore, and yeah, I'm not going to get into specifics. Paint and detail for poster color version Mothra, a solid star each. Articulation, a solid star each. It does exactly the same thing the standard Mothra does, just 
personally looks a hell of a lot better. So now we can get on over into size comparisons. See you right back here in a sec. SH Monster Arts King Ghidorah, Haya Toys Rodan, the original, Haya Toys Mothra, Bandai Movie Monster Series Fire Rodan 2023 version, Movie Monster Series Godzilla 91, Big Time Letdown Movie Monster Series Mothra, Trendmasters Mothra, Movie Monster Series Mothra 2003, Jack Specific KOTM Mothra, Jack Specific KOTM Rodan, <laughs> Jack Specific KOTM Godzilla, NECA Godzilla 2014, first release, Haya KOTM Godzilla, Haya GVK Kong, and Movie Monster Series Mothra. Yes, with how NECA's KOTM line started with Godzilla's dead fish eyes, I don't think anybody was really expecting them to make the definitive version of any of these characters after that. But they did it with Mothra, and not to spoil the next one, but I think they did that with Rodan as well. And that's pretty much it. I've been Shinrob Jira. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this week's content. And when next we meet, finally, I will be covering the Mafex Shin Ultraman Deluxe figure. And we will be at the second to last video in my Neckathon marathon, that being Neckathon 13, Rodan. Don't worry, he's the finale. I haven't forgotten about him. Look at him. How could I possibly forget about this thing? It's the best one out of the lot. Peace. Thank you.